Hello Odoers, welcome back. In our last video, we covered essential website conventions regarding text and colors. Now, let's dive deeper into Odoo's versatile building blocks and explore how easy it is to make our website using them. Let's go to Brussels Sprout's website to see these blocks in action. So, now that we know what's hiding behind the theme tab, let's take a look at our building blocks. In the website builder, blocks are separated into four categories. Structure, which consists of classic blocks used to display headings, images, and texts. They're actually the classic features. Then we have uh, the features, uh, which are meant to display more advanced blocks. They display specific information in a smarter way. For example, a comparison of prices. Then we have dynamic. And these are blocks that are integrated with other apps, such as, for example, products that are sold in e-commerce or newsletter, which we will see in another video. For example, this one. And then we have the inner content, which are uh, blocks that are aimed to be added inside of another block. For example, a button. Now, I strongly encourage you to try them out to see what each of them does. You can just drag and drop them on your page and test them out, like I just did. Because if you don't like them, you can just delete them, for example, like this. Um, or you can just go back, if you go here on the arrow, up, there it goes back. Or you can just discard everything on this, clicking on, by clicking on the, this button, sorry, and Odoo will forget about everything you did since the last time you opened the editor panel. For example, let's discard, and everything I just added isn't here anymore. Be careful that you don't actually make changes that you actually want to, to, to keep, and then click discard, otherwise they will be lost. Now, let's talk about images. They draw attention, and they often convey the text ID in a second. You can easily add your own images. For example, I can modify this image by clicking on it and then clicking Replace. I can upload an image of my own, just click on it, and then I can get any image that I want. But you know what? Um, adding your own images can be very tiresome or expensive. So it's a good thing that Odoo uses Unsplash, which gives you access to millions of different photos and illustrations for free. For example, if I type here Belgium, I have a lot of different images. Um, and I can type any keyword that I want, and it will, uh, it will give me a whole option of images. Let's take, for example, this one. Now, the image quality is optimized for faster web page loading, which in turn positively impacts your ranking on search engines. Of course, if the image seems too heavy, you can always change its way manually by clicking here, by choosing the ones you want. After that, we can easily change various uh, options of the image, like its padding, its style, we can change the roundness of its corners, um, and we can even put it into a shape. For example, I click on it and I can change the shape here. Let's take this one. Perfect. Now, once again, once again, have fun with it. Test it as much as you can in the beginning. As you can see, it's very intuitive and it's easy to understand. Now, let's talk about yet another good website convention, Motion. Motion is very handy to grab the attention of users. A website can sometimes feel a bit static, so adding motion is helpful. One kind of motion, for example, is video. Let's take this welcome banner, for example. I can, of course, change the image by replacing it as we've just seen, but I would like this to be a video, so I just click here on Video, and all I have to do here is paste the link to the video. So, you can add them from YouTube, Dailymotion, or Vidmeo. So, if I just paste mine, and I click OK, now a video plays each time a person uh, enters the website. Another kind of motion is animation. I'll show you what I mean. On any block, you can select uh, an element and add an animation on it. Now, it can be an animation on scroll, which means that it will happen each time the user scrolls past it, or an, appearance, or an animation on appearance, which means it will happen when the user sees it for the first time. We have several options, for example, the direction, let's say from the left, we have the effect, do I want it to fade, do I want it to slide, to bounce, let's say slide. And once again, I invite you to test out everything and you can customize all of them at will. If I now hit uh, save, then we can see the results. My video is playing and when I scroll past, the image uh, just uh, goes from the right to the left. Now, the last element I'd like to show you is something to harmonize your pages and link all of the blocks together. And they're called shapes. We talked about putting images in shapes, 
but I want to talk about background shapes. Simply select any block and then add the shape you want to by clicking on shape over here and you can add any background shape you want to. For example, if I like this one, I can click on it and then I can uh, change its orientation or I can change its colors. Now, I don't want my uh, users to have an epileptic seizure, so I won't use this color. I will just take a nice little light blue. Now, as you can see, you can have a lot of blocks on a page. And you may want to change the order of these blocks. It's quite, quite simple, actually, to change the order. You can just, for example, if I don't want this block to be here, I can just drag and drop it to wherever I want to. Let's say I want to put it here. There you go. Or additionally, I can also just click on the arrow here to move it up or down the page. See? And you can actually do this with any element inside of a block. For example, if I click here on the image, I can put it on the left or on the right just by clicking on uh, the button. Now I'm going to put it back up because it doesn't belong here. What you can do with the block also is duplicate it. If you want to keep uh, the general look and feel of this block and just change the content, the best thing is to duplicate it by clicking on this button over here. And now the exact same block with the same animation is duplicated. Now if this is a block that you think you will use often throughout the website and you don't want to each time drag and drop the basic block and then have to customize it all over again, I recommend you save it as a template. Just click on it and then hit save. And Odoo will automatically uh, save it as a template and you can find it here in the custom templates. You can even rename it so that you know easily what block it is. For example, I can call it uh, Belgium image. And there you go. While there's much more to explore in the world of design, I leave the in-depth insights to our talented Odoo designers. They have a wealth of videos on YouTube where they share best practices and clever Odoo hacks. Feel free to check them out for more inspiration. In the meantime, I'll continue customizing my website to truly capture Brussels sprouts' unique energy, and I'll see you in the next video.